Hi, welcome to this session of my training. I'm going to be showing us how we can record purchase return in QuickBooks. So first of all, let's go ahead and make a purchase. So I will enter bill. Then from bill, let me select uh, mainland supplies. Then I'm going to make use of today's date. If I have a number, a bill number, you put that there. So I'm going to item tab. So let's select uh, laptop. So let's say we want to get laptop. We want to get five in this laptop for 150,000. Okay. Uh, go go ahead to hit save and close. So let's check how many of this laptop we have. We can go to item and services. So now laptop you can see over here we have 20 laptop. So let's say we want to return three. So we're expecting to see 17 after that return. So but first of all let's go to inventory. Inventory uh stock that stores by item so we have 20 okay the most importantly i want to see the valuation so inventory valuation summary uh 20 worth 3 million okay so we're going to go back here uh go to vendor okay uh let's go home Okay, so go to receive inventory with bill. Over here, there is credits. So I'm going to click on the credits. Okay, so I'm going to select main uh, land supplies. So what am I returning? I'm returning part of the laptop. I'm returning three. Three. Uh, the cost for three is 150. Remember, we just purchase for 150. Okay, so the cost is 150. So we'll go ahead and save and close. Now let's pull out our reports. First of all, let's go to evaluation, inventory valuation summary. We have three million before. Now we have two five fifty, then seventeen. That is three times. 150 that is 450 so out of uh 3 million we produce um 450 if we go to inventory stock status we also see over here that we have 17 left so also on the item list we have 17 left so with this we're able to record purchase return on quickbooks